Okay, this video is for a, um, a game called Cat Lady. It's a card game. Um, I've had a couple of games of this, and I've also played a couple of games over remote play together and um, tried out the multiplayer. It's not too bad. I mean, it's kind of a simple game to pick up, but the difficulty is in trying to come up with the highest score at the end. So, um, just looking at the settings here, you can do default full screen of your native resolution, or you can click into a window and then change the resolution of the window. Um, it's not full screen exclusive. And you've got volume controls there, you've got language, that's about it. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I think, let's go into it. Let's try... I'll go less, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of talk through how the game works, I think. So if we put... I'll try one with two computer opponents. You can pick the difficulty. Uh, you'd click here if you wanted to go to a player for an opponent. I think that means AI. Yeah, and then info, <laughs> just a little blurb about who that AI is. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it's, it's a deck card game, a bit like um, Solitaire in a way, uh, but not really. Um, so what happens is there's three things you got to try and get. You've got to get cat, you've got to get food, each cat requires food, and these numbers are how much the cat is worth in points. This guy's got a star, which is worth one point for each white cat to feed. So, for instance, this is a white cat. So if we got the cat, we got the food that he wants, we feed it, we're going to get six points off that. If we had this cat as well, we would then get one point because this cat, we've, you know, we've got a white cat for a That's how it works. There are toys which are like this, they're the wand, or a mouse toy, and uh, these are worth points. Um, depending on the number of toys you get and uh, stuff like that. Uh, there's also costumes. Each cat can have a costume and, and so they get more points. You get more points if you have costumes for your cat. Um, there's also this cat nut. This is actually uh, worth quite a lot of points. depending on how many bags you have. So that can really add up. Uh, in fact, I think I lost the game because the opponent had a lot of catnip. Um, so yeah, there's a few other things here. There's like a, a squirty bottle, spray bottle, and uh, um, you got lost cat posters, uh, the costumes that we've already talked about and the toy we've already talked about. So I'll talk more about uh, the spray bottle and the uh, lost cat poster um, as we go on. So at the moment all we're going to focus on is just uh, cats, food, 
and the category. So this lot means that you cannot select that row. So that's how you select, that's how you get things. You've got to go either by a column or a row. And as you can see, we've got three columns and three rows. That's how you uh, collect cards. You don't collect individual cards or anything like that. You just take the whole line, whether it's that way or that way. Um, but yeah, if there's a cat lock, it means you can't select that row. But we could get these cards by column. Or we can only pick one column. And we can only pick one row. So that's how it works. Nine cards, you can only take three, depending on which way you do it. So the lock, it moves based on um, who, uh, which row or column that the previous player took. So if I take this column here, the lock will move from there up to here, and then the next player won't be able to take that column. Uh, there is one way around the cat lock, but I won't mention that yet. We'll pick that up later on. Um, so that's basically how you take your turn, is that you look at the cards, which cards do you want, and then how are you going to get them. So, uh, at the moment, we could pick up this cat here. We have one point for each white cat we feed. And we'll probably go that way. Alright, so that's my turn over. Next person gets their turn. And the next person gets their turn. So they've all had their turn as well. They took cards, uh, either by column or row. And now it's back to my turn again. And um, so you see, this cat requires two different food a chicken and a milk. And we've got a milk down here, so I can bring that up. But we still need a chicken if they don't have. So a cat is only classed as fed uh, when he or you know has got all its food. So that cat is not fed yet. We're still not getting any points from him yet. And uh, he's actually a special cat, so he won't give us points unless we actually uh, feed white cat. So we've got another white cat here. This cat's worth three points, which is quite good. This cat's worth four points, which is even better. Um, there's a lot of food on the board. So, I think we're going to go this way. I understand how the game works, but as I said, um, the, the difficulty or trick to it is actually figuring out how to get the most points at the end of the game. Because there's different ways you can get points. And which point, you know, which way is going to be worth more. You've got to manage uh, what cats you're going to take in. Obviously, you don't want to take in every single cat. Um, okay, so we can finally feed this cat here. That cat's done. There is a, like a wild card for the food here. Which is this one here. And it's counted as any one of any food you want but then there will be some cats that actually require um, this wild card for food it's very rare but it does happen and of course the more rare something is uh, the more points it's probably worth so we've got a couple of these lost cat posters to turn up so I can kind of um, tell you how they work. I mean, it says it there. Discard two lost cat posters to gain one stray cat. Now, a stray cat is these grey ones here. They're strays, so they're not 
connect it to any rows and up to the first column. And they usually got special abilities. Uh, click through them on the last cat cards. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's the posters. You gotta have two posters to be able to, um, get them. We don't have any posters yet. But, uh, what he does, he grants two wild food. Alright, so I think when you feed him, he'll grant you two wild food. That's pretty good. And he's worth three points. Um, Uh, this one here, and twenty, uh, with two points for each white cat you feed. So, I mean, that's a bit like this one, dinner, uh, with one point for each white cat you feed. So, if we had both of those and we were feeding white cat, we would uh, start to rank up points quite nicely. Um, this one here, with two points for each orange cat you feed. So that's another interesting one. We don't have orange cats. I don't know if each class is a orange cat or not. Uh, o, a, o plus W. I guess he is orange and white. So yeah, to to get one of these strays, you've got to have two posters. So I'm going to play that row there. And let's have their turns. Now we can look and see what they're, how they're going. So this one's got three cats. He's fed two of them already. So he's got, he's got nine points coming from there. 13 points in total because he's got a couple of crossbeams. Um, this one here, three cats. None have been fed yet. So yeah, his, he's in the negative, which would be pretty much like me. I'm in the negative as well. Because I haven't finished feeding them up yet. Um, but I'm the only person who's got these lost cat posters. Okay. That means somebody else must have had lost cat, uh, lost cat posters. This one here, he must, be, you know, he must have had two of these as well, and he spent them to grab that cat. So we're going to have to snap one of these up. Um, I mean, both of them are pretty good. I think I'm going to take the, um, the white cat. We're going to adopt that one. Now, we can get a whole ton of milk there. It would be quite good if we've got pets that need milk, but only got one at the moment. We could do that way and we get a wild. Oh, so this cat has actually given us the two wilds straight away. That's cool. Now we can give it a uh, chicken. We need to get a ham and fish. Um, I'm going to try grabbing the milk, I think. Uh, might come in handy. Yeah, so that little Timmy, he's really um, going quite well at the moment. But, I mean, that's alright. Because we can get, we'll get big points. If I can feed these cats, we'll, we'll get some big points. So we can feed that one there. Uh, it's all about trying to uh, get point multipliers happening, you know, like tumbling off cats and stuff. Um, so who's got, anyone got posters? No. So if I get that, that'll put me uh, one up on grabbing this cat here. I still need another poster though. Or we could take the cat, cat, 
uh, yeah, and doing that, but then we need, like, we could get this cat, but we need three pins, there's six points, which is quite a lot, I mean, that might be the highest, uh, standard, uh, point cat you can get, I'm not sure, so I might do that, Somebody else might take the poster, we don't know. No, they haven't. Alright, and now we've got can uh, food here as well. So, we'll give this one to Moonbeam. Yeah, I definitely need that, so I think we're going to go that way. We've got some more and we have got another lot faster. Yeah, so this we we're, we're really lucky here. I think we've lucked out. Feed yeah, that one. So now we're up to ten points. So we're still um, that guy there. This guy he's he's going really well. Looks like he's getting a lot of points from his toys. And his costumes. How are we doing with toys and costumes? One, yeah, not good at all. I'm going to do that, I think. What's this one going to do? With one point for each black cat you see, you see that's quite good because we've already got uh, two black cats that we've got to feed in one of them. I need two cans. Yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna do that. Gotta be careful because like when that hits um, zero, that's the end of the game. So every time people take a card, that goes down. So it's going down three cards every uh, turn, and there's three players. So that's gonna go pretty quick. Right, so I'm going to take the last spray here. I still need milk and chicken, which we've got here. Right, okay, I've got a milk there. And another one here. So I could potentially take the cattle face. With four points, okay. Someone, he's taking more care. All right. So that finishes that one. I'm going to slow down a bit. Um. Yeah, see, we plug it as well. And costume, chicken, milk. I guess we'll take this one here. But I don't actually need to get more food. I got this wild food I can still use. So we're, we're all good for food, but. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough. Okay, that one up now. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to get another turn here. No, we haven't. Okay. So, at the moment, it looks like little Timmy's gone down in points. Because uh, little Timmy, well, we can't see now, but like this guy, he was neck and neck with me, and little Timmy was way in front. But then little Timmy, what happened is he took a lot of cats in, and I don't think he's been able to feed them. And if you take cats in and you can't feed them, 
Uh, it actually takes points off you, so... So, yeah, we're doing pretty good here. We've got... Uh, all our cats for speed. Only the one toy, only the one costume. But... We're, we're not losing any points anywhere. We do have uh, two of this, which is quite good. We get one point per feed cat, so that's going to give us uh, seven points. And we've got spare food down here. So let's see what happens. Alright, so it looks like maybe we've won. Yeah, so we've done really good here. Uh, little Timmy, yeah, he's got four cats that weren't fed. So he was doing really well, but then he, he just, he died out at the end, unfortunately. He made a big mistake taking in more cats than he could feed. So that's how it works. Um, quite surprising. Uh, I didn't think we were doing too good at the beginning. And then of course, after you've finished the game and done certain things, it does un um, like, you know, you unlock things. It's kind of like achievements in a way. Uh, get back out of there. Because we're just starting a, uh, we're just starting basically. Um, so let's try again. Challenge. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, so this is going to be a little bit tougher. I'm fighting against Cat Lady. It's, um, I think it's like a, a set challenge, and you have to really be on top of your game to, to win it. So, uh, let's see how we go. Maybe I'll get to tell you how the spray bottle works if I click one, this one there. Um, let's see. So I could pick up a spray here. Yeah, 2.3 orange cat. That's two wild food, which I mean, that's really nice to have uh, when, when it comes to the end time and you've got cats that you need to feed. So let's try that. Um, I'll go that way. Oh, you got sparkles. We're going to take the last pair of sparkles. Unfortunately, we don't have the right type of food. Okay, I can show you how this uh, water bottle works now. So basically, if you've collected a water bottle, uh, the lock is on here, and we can't get that road. But if we use the water bottle, we can click somewhere else, and it'll move the lock from there somewhere else. So let's say we put the lock here. Now we can do the row. Right, now we've got some cat food now. Let's 
Ee, de, de, de. Yaptım köyü. I guess that would be a wise choice to take. Hmm, so they've got four corners, three, 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 six. So I think we've got the advantage with the cats at the moment. Okay, we can do a spray set, so let's have a look. Alright, of cat, we don't have any black cats yet. Uh, Moonbeam, yeah, I think we're going to get Moonbeam. We can do orange cats, we've got two orange cats. I'll take that for now, but I would love to get this cat as well. So. And then we could do that by going here. Fucking yeah, let's go for costume. Okay, he's taken or he's taken a poster, and I've got a poster. We can get that place for it. I can go here and get this one. Mm. Yeah, this gets only worth one point. So I don't think I want to bother with that. Let's do that. Okay, so she's taken the poster, so I'm going to have to grab one of these. Uh, this one is a four for each set of black, orange, white. So black, orange, white, that's one set. If I get another black cat, I'll have another set. And then this cat will be worth eight points. That's pretty cool. Uh, this one here only wears three, but does ground has two wild food, which may come in handy to uh, real like lacking in the food department. <sighs> I'm tempted to do this and get the black cat. Because that's going to be worth quite a lot of points if we can get this black cat feed, but we can. But of course, I've got to get my other cat feed as well, which is going to be a problem. So, yeah, we're going to have to focus on food really heavily. Orange cat you feed, so yeah, that's worthwhile. But you also need to get this one done.
we can get the food, I think we'll be in a good position. But look, we need a lot of chicken. Chicken here, but it's locked up. Um, I mean, you can move the food around, which we might have to do at the end to try and squeeze out a little bit more points. But Sure about that. I mean, it looks like we've got the most points we can kind of do at the moment. Really need that chicken. But I can't quite get it. I don't want to pick that up. Yeah, we might have stretched stretched ourselves a bit too far, I think. Um, yeah, so we can't do anything with the tuna. Um, yeah, I think we're at the end of our run here. Alright. I got a feeling we might not have done this. We had a good start, but then it kind of went air shape. So each colour, we basically need to feed that one and that one. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I guess we'll do that with this six point. And that's about all we can do. So I don't think we've got it this time. Yeah, it's the second. So they reckon our costumes let us down. And the toys. Cat, well, you know, I just put them by one point in the cat department. The food we were lacking because we were chicken. So, yeah. Well, we could try again. Or we could do another um, wait for it to go through there. We could do uh, one more. Uh, we'll do a uh, classic, and we'll add in. You can add in. You can have up to three opponents, and they can be human. You can play on the uh, same computer, local, local PvP basically, or you can remote play. Uh, remote play works as well. You change the difficulty of the opponents, just try a couple of mediums. Let's see how uh, that goes. Okay, so yeah, those cats don't. Well, that one was three pointer, four pointer. Alright, let's pick that one. Let's have a look. 
defeat Cali number three. Yeah. And then defeat the Niners at team way for seven point that way. It's three points. And then So I think somebody picked up a uh, poster, yeah. So this person's got no cat yet, no nothing. Uh, this person got two cats, but they're only low point cat. Yeah, there's different ways of playing it, you know. You can go for, um, I mean, you could just go for the low point cat, but then grab one of those ones that says, uh, you know, points based on the number of white cats or orange cats that you feed and if you've got a whole heap of them um, you know you can get a lot of points that way I mean this one here you can feed him you can just keep feeding him food like doubling up over and over and over and uh, she's worth two points each food so you, <laughs> I don't know how crazy you can go but I mean, this cat could be worth like 20 points if you feed it up enough. <laughs> so that's another option. Put a pointer on that one. One pointer down there. I mean, I don't mind that one, but I don't know if I want to cut that one to get it. That would be great, but then if I, we, we can't get it, and if I uh, don't take this and someone else grab that row there, that would be a really awesome uh, row to get, so I'm going to have to go that way. Let's find another uh, special cat. One point for each black cat you feed. Another interesting one. Yeah, I mean, there's only three stray cats per game, and uh, once they're gone, they're gone. So, I mean, there's. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe we'll take that. I kind of need the food as well. Alright, well, there goes one cat. I might try and get that one. I mean, both of these are good, but... Oh, wow. So that person's got, um cat posters as well so another cat will go be you know completely random which one they'll take but um, I don't want to feed there but it's locked away and I don't have a spray bottle uh, Shame. Let's say black cat. No, that one. Each black cat. There's another black cat. Maybe I'll do that. Alright, one cat there. So, I've got one poster. So, if I want that cat, I'm going to have to get this poster. We're going to have to go that way. Um, this will feed a uh, pumpkin, I think, for the moment. Oh, wrong type of food. <laughs> okay. What we can do, Luna, even though that doesn't 
Yeah. There you go. Um, you don't have to allocate costumes with three. It's all automatic. So all you have to take time is basically just the food and the cat. And then if you want the lock poster and, uh, and if you want to use a spray bottle or not, you need the lock. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go that way. Um, right, we're gonna have to grab them. Right, now we got a whole heap of cats we gotta feed up. There's a couple of tuna here. I think I might take that. Is that or I go for that one? Yeah, so I get the bonus off the black cat. Which I think was Luna. Yeah, one point two black cat to the feed. So Yes, I will get on to that now. That's me, milk. So it's, yeah, it's not a difficult game to understand, you know, it's quite easy to get a grasp on, so then it just comes down to trying to uh, manage the points. Yeah, I guess I probably still have a lot to learn. Yeah, I don't really need more cat. But Yeah, I think we're probably going to lose. I think we're going to get our ass in for the year. I mean, look at that 37, 34, we're on negative one. So yeah, I mean, maybe I'm kind of spreading myself a bit too thin. Perhaps I should just focus on a certain colour of cat or something like that. Or maybe I shouldn't even go for cats at the beginning. And like, I mean, you could go for your stray cats, but maybe focus on food and then, uh, you know, get a massive pile of food here and then go for cats near the end. Uh, you know you're going to be able to feed. Um, yeah, we got one milk bottle. We got two cans of fish. Nobody wants fish. Wow, that went quick, didn't it? Um, I 
Yeah, it's kind of a refreshing solution. Two milk, but we don't have it. And this guy here would be worth a point, but you see, if you can't feed them, they're not worth anything. <coughs> so we'll give that chicken to this cat instead. Um, we need to make cat, there's seven and one, two, three. Yeah. So because he's only worth three, we might be better off giving the milk to the cat at the top instead. Uh, yeah, we needed one more chicken. That's all we can do. Yeah, we got totally owned, I think. Lacking in the costumes again. It's weird. Not too sure why. There's probably some reason why. I, I guess maybe I'm not doing something right. Uh, here we did alright. Toys we failed. Lost pet posters. And then. Yeah, we didn't do too good in the cat department, so I couldn't feed them, and that's why we lost points in here as well, minus two. Oh well. So I think, um, I think we'll stop at that. Uh, so yeah, I still need to try and uh, get my strategy worked out. Um, so let's just have, I'll just have a quick look, see if there's a demo for this game. No, there's no demo on Steam. Uh, there, there might be a demo on uh, itch.io or somewhere else, I'm, I'm not sure though. Um, it's, it's not guaranteed because not every game is, um, is on itch.io, but um, yeah. This has been the card game, Pet Lady. <laughs> so, uh, I, I think it's quite a uh, nice little uh, casual game. It's kind of simple to pick up, but it's difficult to master uh, in the way of, you know, getting the most points at the end. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.